so hello YouTube world I'm back again um, this is a old canvas that I thought I would be able to embellish some way but it's been lying around for ages I started embellishing it but it wasn't going anywhere sometimes you just have to give up quite frankly so I'm going to have a go at pouring over this canvas because it's a Windsor and Newton one but what I've done is I've reinforced the back with some thick card just because I'm just a bit worried about it sagging so this is a bit of an experiment anyway so <laughs> I'm not too worried if it doesn't dry prop well oh, I am, I obviously want it to dry well but I have this picture in my head and I have no idea whether or not it's going to work out. So I'm just going to take a sip of tea. I'm just going to explain the colours as I go along. So I have a uh, phalo green, this is Arteza phalo green, but I have added red. Now this is my background colour and I want it to be quite knocked back you'll see why in a minute I always feel quite nervous you know when you start painting doing this which is really silly isn't it I'm gonna go about there around the edge. Um, so my last painting, Spring Into Action, it was really nice actually because quite a few of you had a go, had lots of questions and I guess that's really, really lovely actually for people to do. I'll just speed this bit of the video up. So that is my base, my green. Now I have lots of cups of different blues made up to the side here, which I'm going to try and explain as I go along. Because the idea is that I'm going to do, I haven't quite decided yet, three flip cups here. So, I have um, a dark blue here. I'll put that there. Now these, I've all made, I've made these all up myself and to be honest I just kept adding different colours to get the <laughs> hue that I wanted. Um, so it's a kind of cerulean blue as last time um, but I have added its complementary colour orange I think I've probably added actually a bit of yellow ochre as well and I've I've kind of toned it down for each colour so that I've added white each time and probably some phalo blue uh, somewhere along the line so I <laughs> Now you want to understand why I didn't go through my colours because I don't really know what they are. So I'm just going to do three dirty cups. One, two, three. Whatever it turns out like, it's going to be fun, isn't it? Just have some more tea. So, don't leave too much paint on your canvas that you're going to swipe over. 
if it's really thick then the flowers that you put on top are just going to sink. Okay, so this is going to be a challenge, isn't it? I'm just going to slowly walk it backwards and forwards. I'm going to take my time with this bit. I want that to go over the green. Just going to add some white. Should I use white? I'll use pearl. So this is kind of representative of a sky. Okay. Wipe my hands again. Now, I'm going to come down here with my swipe colours. I'm thinking as I go along, let's give that torch. Okay, let's go for the swipes. Now, I have got, this is Arteza's yellow green. Now my fluid, my consistency is quite fluid actually. Um, it creates a little bit of a mound, then it disappears quite quickly. It's a little bit like a cake mixture, figure of eight. It kind of is there on the surface for two, three seconds and it's gone. Uh, right, I 
I'm just going to get a small cup. So, I really like that. That's really nice. I'm just wondering whether I should do it there as well. I don't like it when it goes jaggedy. It's obviously overstretched. Liking that. So. The green. Now I'm going for the uh, Benzi yellow. Can't pronounce it. Golden fluid. <laughs> I'm not I'm only gonna use a little bit because last time it was way too overpowering. More? Oh, maybe a little bit more. I can always swipe again. How much is enough in fluid art? That's what I want to know. I'm using a little bit of yellow ochre because I want the background to have depth to it and the foreground to be quite light. So I won't use this yellow ochre in on the flowers. I'm going to put a little bit more green there. there go. Okay. Got me handy dandy paper towels. It's much easier guys if you cut them in half because to control a big piece is, well, it's a bit tricky in that. Excuse me sniffing, it's cold in here. Right. I'm going to use the, uh, I'm going to leave that top line and just kind of swipe from underneath it. Quite a lot of yellow ochre there. Might have to do something about that. The first, sometimes the first swipe you do is always a bit wonky. Well, first swipe I do anyway. You you really do need to do this with confidence, without thinking about it too much. That's better. And you see how the paper towels kind of create drags through the paint. That's what I like. So we're into, I don't know, I think we're coming up to week three of lockdown here in the UK. I count myself very fortunate and blessed actually to have a garden, have a studio that I can come and escape to, have my health and have my strength. There is lots to be thankful for. Now I am going to swipe again with the darker green which I've saved behind. So I'm just going to go... I think this is what I did in my last painting as well. Went back in with a darker colour. Yeah. <laughs> 
there's so much going on. Whoops. <laughs> wow. Nice bit of blue coming through there. So I am coming up to my thousand, towards my thousand followers on YouTube, which I'm very grateful for. It's been incredibly hard work. Um, I've been finding my feet, I've been making mistakes, learning as I go along. Probably never stop learning actually, to be quite honest. Um, <clears throat> so thank you everybody for supporting me. So I will be doing a giveaway. I will be running a competition of some sort. Not quite sure what yet. I think I'm about 50 subscribers off a thousand. I'm not I'm not too worried about these wonky bits because I want to go back in with some and, and create some stems, but big stems this time. So I'm going I'm going for a very graphic meadow. That sky might be way too much, you never know. my handy dandy card here. What do I want to do? I'm just going to see how this goes. <laughs> you can see, I, you can tell I don't really know what I'm doing. As I said, this is an experiment. I didn't really work, did it? Too thick. Let's cut this baby down. Not so sure I like this, but it's certainly creating depth, that's for sure. I'm just going to give that a torch. Okay, so blown up glove. This one's blown up quite a lot actually, so I'm hoping this is going to work. Yes! So I'm just creating some leaves, breaking that sky up. Don't forget there's green underneath that blue. I like how you, when you lift the paint up, 
you get these little lines. Colours beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, you have to be quite bold with it. You can't be manby pamby. Just wiping the balloon off each time. Oh, I really hope this dries well. I actually wish I had a smaller blown up glove, but <laughs> it took me so long to do this. Let's just see. Where I can improve this. Okay, I think I'm going to make that do there. Are you still filming? Now, for my flowers. What did I do last time? Yellow. This is the Hansa Yellow Light. So because I use GAC, a lot of GAC in my pouring medium, it dries very quickly and actually dries very glossy and I never varnish a painting that has GAC in it. Because you don't need to. Do you know, it reminds me of the Alps. <laughs> I don't know why, I've never been. This is my pearl. I'm going to come down a little bit further. Well, I'll do that in a minute, actually. And this is my orange. So the brightest colours I'm using in the foreground. I think before I go any further... I'm going to give that a torch. Love this bit here. That's not what you want. Oh, she's on the floor. That's why I didn't step in it. <laughs> that would be what I normally do, wouldn't it? Those that you know me, bish bash bosh. Right, so I'm going to go in, I'm going to work my way up from the middle. So I really want to create some 
big blues. See how much I can get away with. Oh, look at that there. Right. Do you know? I'm done. Okay. It's, <laughs> it's certainly bold. Oh dear. Anyway, um, I think for an experiment, for a test, it's pretty good. I just hope it does dry. I hope it dries darker. I hope the background dries darker there underneath those flowers. Um, I'm glad I put the white in the sky. Look at that. I love those leaves. I think playing around with colours and hues, I think it's very all very saturated at the minute. Yeah, there you go. So this is the dried results. It's a few days later. Considering this is an older canvas that I've painted over, it's dried really well. Beautiful sunny day lots of background noise with the children and things playing in their garden. Sunday afternoon, Easter Sunday actually. Um, I don't know if you can see the, there we go, the pearl, the iridescent pearl, those flowers, little white flowers, they really shimmer along with the clouds. I love the movement in the sky where the Leaves of balloons rolled into the sky. And the iridescent pearl there. He's full and shiny. And then the green underneath. People have some blue showing. 